Hello and welcome back to the Creation Station. This is just a five minute quick tip with a very useful feature called MIDI Dynamic Control. This is uh, done with a little trick with a plugin called The Grandeur, one of my favorite plugins, uh, piano plugins that ever has reached the market. Listen to this instrument. So now I recorded a performance fairly straight ahead and then a look at this curve below. This is done with the modulation wheel controller one, CC1. And listen to this. So you might ask yourself, why don't you just control the volume of the plugin with the volume slider and automize that? Well, that is because the character of the sound changes dramatically from if you strike it soft and you strike it loud. It goes from mellow to really bright and biting, especially with this plugin. This plugin is capable of going from all the way from new agey sounds. Here, look, when you work with the color slider. And we'll bring it up a little bit. I have to reduce the volume. So because I wanted to make this available um, for dynamic control, and there's no such plugin as dynamic MIDI sliders that enable you to change the velocity as it comes into the plugin and triggers the plugin, I built a workaround and that workaround is done here in the script editor where under you know you can see this over here this is called change velocity it sits in slot number five that was the only one that was free and I found it in the factory plugins under randomize and change there's a plugin called change velocity you can just when you click on this you know, hover through these sidewinder menus here and then uh, click change velocity this menu appears and if watch what happens to the performance if I just ignore this curve here for a second and I just change it manually, look. So you can see that the character changes quite a bit. So all I had to do now is, in a Macintosh command, is control click Actually, I have to remove this first so I can demonstrate it to you. Learn MIDI CC, that's a control click on this button, and then I move the modulation wheel. And lo and behold, there you go. Now you can change the velocity. Let me ride it in so I can create my own dynamics now after the fact. So that's actually starting a little too soft. I thought that was quite musical. This is very different than just changing the volume of the plugin. This changes the character of the performance and enables you to do dynamics. Of course, you know, if you have a plugin like a drum plugin and you can put one of these scripts in there, then you can also change the drum dynamics as you perform with this particular plugin. So it's very, very useful. This is very easy to do in contact. I'm not too familiar with other uh, softwares that do this kind of scripting. But there you go, Contact is an incredibly popular sampler and it's worth every penny. All of my libraries, practically, I want to say 90% of my libraries run in Contact and it's amazingly well designed and you can edit so much in it. So anyways, that was a little five minute quick tip. Please give the video a like. 
uh, subscribe to the channel if you feel so motivated. I'll be dropping a lot more of those. I've got hundreds of those kind of videos coming. There's a little quick tips that will make your life easier in the studio and get you better results. And that's what it's all about. Stefan Olvar signing out from the Creation Station. God bless everybody. Stay creative. Peace.